I'm grown up in a coffee farm. My first coffee drinking was when I was four years old. And you can imagine that how I love the coffee. And I used to work in a coffee shop and I feel like, well, this, is, this kind of job is really fit for me. I think this is a place where I need to contribute what I have learned and what is my passion for. My great-grandparents, they were the chief of the village. And everybody know about me. Everybody was so happy to help us and support us. When I was 15, I was an artist in handicraft and art. And I started a project with community to export the products to French until I met Joss. He was pretty quiet. It was a bit curious. Maybe the first time see like a whole girl in the traditional clothes. Oh, I was surprised. Her English was perfect, <laughs> and she was a wonderful musician playing the, the traditional kohol music. We were friends for a year before she called me to come up and, and stay in the lot. And at that time, we went to visit her parents. I met her parents for the first time in the coffee garden. In Koho culture, you have to prove that you can work when you meet the woman's family. And they asked me to pick up this bag of coffee, 60 kilos, climb up the mountain. To understand about each other culture, it really takes time, so we need a lot of time to understand each other as well. He's the one who really supports me. That's what I did to decide to work for community. Vietnam is one of the largest coffee producing countries in the world, but it's mostly Robusta, which is a different variety of coffee that we grow here. We grow Arabica here. Arabica from the high elevations is the best. And when we roasted it the first time and tasted it, it was excellent. So we decided to, uh, to do some business together with her parents and it grew into working with the whole community here. What we really want to do is have a positive impact on the community. So we would like to keep our, our company growing organically, fair trade. So many people are interested in coffee and working in it, make a lot of friends and keep long-term connection. Not only farmers here, every customer who come here and they will expect more what behind a cup of coffee that every morning they wake up. They are really supporting us by always welcomes and our new idea and you know our new techniques and always give a good great idea if we need to change. So everybody it's important here. I'm really proud to be a Koho community girl. Third wave of coffee, uh, which is like the, the new style of brewing coffee and enjoying coffee. And we were some of the first producers in Vietnam to catch on to the, the third wave coffee. Vietnam is mostly Robusta coffee, and they enjoy with a, a aluminum uh, filter, very old style but we try to bring the, the new style of uh, paper filter and pour over brewing and lighter roast and try to bring out the best of the essence of the bean as we can. People start to get to know us and they start to like our coffee and we have more and more customers and more, more interest in our products so business starts to grow from them. coffee kind of become like our child, but it's like a child that supports our entire family. We like to keep it in the family right. and pass the business down to our next generation, generation. <laughs> to our children. 
I would love to have my children or any community child know about coffee. People here enjoy a beautiful story. It's not only love story, but it's a story of the hard work behind the cup. And more important that we can gather together in the happiness.